What's up, everyone? Yeah, of course, it's eight here. For your next part, my SpongeBob SquarePants battle for the team bottom walkthrough. In this video, we're gonna do a level Sand Mountain. Alright, let's dive in here. Do, do, do. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. <laughs> Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. Wait, what? What? You've used it before? Oh, yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. Ooh, this sounds serious. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! Alright, so the main thing that we're going to be doing in this level is... In each of these doors, there's going to be a place where we have to pay shiny objects. And in, beyond each of these doors is a slope. And the bottom of each slope, we're going to have to defeat some robots. And once we defeat them, we'll get a golden spatula. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's get a golden spatula right off the bat here. Alright, over here. We can play a Sandy. Alright, turn the camera around. And if we can talk to Gary while we play a Sandy, we see that there's a golden spatula up there. You don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. And there is. I'm gonna jump up here, get on top of this ledge, then go over here and hit this button. And now we have some swinging things so we can swing straight to the golden spatula. Yep, just make your way on over there. And golden spatula is ours. Yay! Woo! Woo! Alright, now let's go back and switch back to SpongeBob. Oh, okay. Alright, and there's another golden spatula right up here. Not gonna have enough gold shiny objects to get this though, but. Hello, my most favorite friend in the whole world. Uh -huh. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh, boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Yes, in order to unlock the bungee, we need 2,500 shiny objects, which I don't have. So I'm gonna go to Goo Lagoon and stock up on some shiny objects. So, please wait one momentum. Alrighty, I got all the golden stuff. Not the golden stuff, all the shiny objects that I need. So let's head on back to Sand Mountain. Frosty Bungee. Here we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and pay the shiny objects. And here's our bungee hook. Yay! Alright. Let's go ahead and bungee down, really simple. Golden Spatula is ours. Alright. That sock up there? Oh my gosh, that is a sock. Wow, I'm definitely gonna have to look up a walkthrough for that, because I have no idea how to get all the way. 
Oh, I see what it is. It's when you beat the snowman and the salt comes. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I have seen the salt. That's kind of weird. I didn't, I have no I had no idea the salt was just randomly placed in, in the middle of the sky like that. I had no idea. Keep up the good work, buddy of mine, and don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket. Sure thing, Plankton. All right, now let's go ahead and do what we have to do. 1,500 shiny optics, the amount you need to pay for each and every single one of these ski slopes. And, wait, what? I don't have enough? What? Wow, what? Are you serious? Can I throw steel in Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, wow. Of course I wasn't saying that, but that would be so creepy if that robot actually survived that. That would be the creepiest thing in the world. Alrighty. Yeah, that's enough shiny objects. Might have to grind for more later on. Alright, let's get in here. 38 shiny objects. And here we are in... Guppy, Guppy Mound, not Guppy Hill, Guppy Mound. And here we're going to learn about the main gimmick of this level. Like maybe now. I've gone down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Yes, each of these characters will be waiting in the, in, at each of these slopes, and they'll all ask you to do a race. If you can beat their time in the race, you'll get a golden spatula. There's this nothing is one... like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... <laughs> um, so yeah, you don't have to get these golden spatulas if you don't want to, but if you want to go for a 100% run, it's recommended. So let's go ahead and get two golden spatulas in one go. I've gone down this hill a hundred times. If you can beat my time, I'll give you a golden spatula. All right, let's go for it. All right, so this is the very first race, so obviously it's going to be really, really easy. And for some reason, the downtown bikini bottom Yeah, that's kind of weird. All right, also, avoid dying when you do this. Because if you die, you like that, for example, you will automatically lose the race. And if you get set back to the checkpoint, the timer will I've automatically expire. So, yeah, don't die if you're trying to win each of these races. So, yeah. Alright, let's go for a successful run this time. Whoa. Alright, you want to go over here and hit this button. I'm gonna get this thing to roll. Let's get all those stone cheeky so that you won't get hurt. And here's the music that we need to listen to, yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah, poor still kid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that was really, really close. Uh, so what's there to talk about? Uh... Hmm, not really a whole lot of that, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm boring. <laughs> Alright, check it out. We're already at the end of the race. Here's the cake. Alright, now the other one's gonna be a little bit harder, and here we have sort of like a mini boss type thingy. Whoa, I almost got hit by the green fog. Alright, so we gotta destroy the duplicato chons. And behind the duplicator trunk will be buttons. Hit both buttons in order to win the challenge. This music, I don't really think that techno type thing really fits SpongeBob that well. But it's not mini boss music, I don't like it. Push, push, and with push, that, push. we have beaten this challenge. And we also got a golden spatula. Let's kill this guy. Just can't. Let's 
get the silver statue now? Yeah, I kind of, kind of lame how they were lazy with this music. They just reused the bikini body music for this level. And 40 golden spatulas! 10 more and we'll be halfway done with this game. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's go, let's meet you get our... Congratulations! You pass with flying colors! Yeah! Spongebob actually succeeded a test that involves racing. Well, I guess driving isn't really involved. Well, driving uh, does involve racing, but... Yeah, getting a license is involved racing. But, yeah, you've actually succeeded a test, Spongebob. Congratulations. Is that four? Yep, that's four golden spatulas. That's the main thing of this thing. We get four golden spatulas. I end the video there. So, I'm gonna end the video here. In the next video, we're gonna continue the second half of Sand Mountain. See you then, everyone.